everybody, to another edition of the Nerd Watch Podcast. I, of course, am G Money. I am joined by uh, four men and a henchman. Uh, we are here <laughs> on uh, the Nerd Watch. <sighs> Thank you, Gannon. That's for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, we're How's joined by four and a henchman. One, two, three. Four and a henchman. He's here. Uh, but you said joining you are four. Oh, excuse me. Three <laughs> men and a henchman. That's right. There we go. That sounds like math. Movie. Joining you. That's right. Joining me. You don't but know also to... a sage behind a the sage camera. A sage is behind yep. the camera tonight. The sage is behind the camera. The I one hate to math. Is finally back. Uh, I guess he has was dealing with some. Uh, Otherworldly issues. Yep. Um, he was in the astral he's plane. Got, he's got dark, bro. <laughs> yeah, he got yeah. things that super dark, bro. Uh, yeah, problems from Earth too. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so he's back and he's uh, ready to tell the tale later on. He's going to be behind the camera tonight, but uh, also behind our Facebook live camera, of course, is uh, Kai. We're working on his uh, his name. He needs a stage. He name. He needs a stage name. Oh, no. um, <laughs> it was the Fluffer, but it may be something else. We don't know yet. Um, also, uh, we got to get to it because there's so much news. First of all, Gannon, the uh, punk rock superstar, is back and hot off of his uh, Miss Fest uh, <laughs> this uh, last weekend. So I hope it was good. Hot. Yes. Good. Good. Uh, I, I hope you rock the house. Is that what you kids say nowadays? Uh, no. We no, don't you don't that. say that. No. Okay. What What do you say? Tear we, it down. Uh, we, we, <laughs> tear it down. <laughs> we, we, we slap. We slap it up. Flip it up. Rub it down. Oh, you rub it down. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. no. Oh, no. Also joining us tonight as well is uh, the man, the myth, the smite legend. It is uh, <laughs> the, game, the gaming the guru legend. format is in the house tonight as well. Also, Howdy. Artist Supreme. Yes, yes. And uh, the Art, one no. and only uh, comic Stop book it. chairman, uh, Alika, the man who owns Maui Comics and Collectibles, is in the house tonight as well. There are people messaging me about the con. I'm not being rude by being on my phone. There's like people like telling They're messaging me. You on it. Well, yeah. tell them to wait and shut Sam up. Sam Lee's nerd watch. messaging him right now. Yeah. <laughs> Theo Lee, local artist Oh, Theo Lee is fantastic. Same thing. And finally, joining us tonight, sitting in for Todd, because Todd is away in the Shire, all the way in the lovely... No, we're uh, not kidding. He really is he in the is Shire. In the shire. Yeah, he is, he literally he, is in the Shire. He is down under. Down under. Dude, mm-hmm. that's his Okay? Wife. Um, so, stop <laughs> it. Oh, oh, my gosh. That's really? What? Wow. You know she listens to this Whoa. podcast. Unbelievable, Gannon. So rude. I think she's the only one on Facebook Live yeah, right Todd, now. Todd's like, <laughs> I'm not the one Todd's wife is one about. of the very few that actually listen right. to the pod. I, I, and I, first of all, I want to say that I love Todd's wife. She is wonderful. What's, uh, what's her name? She, what's her name? She's very supportive. <laughs> what's her name? What's her name? Think, what's her name? I think it's Brandy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, geez. and we lost another viewer. <laughs> and we lost another viewer. <laughs> that was like the only female listener, right? I know, right? That was that was <laughs> now we just gotta no, but uh, on, uh, big shout out to Todd. Julio He's at the Armageddon yeah. Con, I believe. Armageddon Con, Armageddon in New Con in New Zealand. Uh, we miss you, Todd. We love you, pal. And uh, we'll, you, I think you'll Some be back. Uh, not, I didn't not even, this... even know she wasn't here. Oh, <laughs> wow! Um, I he... wanted to say that <laughs> 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 he won't be back next week, but he will be back the following week. So. Uh, I mean, uh, oh. He better be because that's the, the week of the that's con. the week Five of the con. Hour, uh, so listen, let's uh, let's get right to it as well. The comic book henchman finally is in the house as well, yeah, sitting yeah. in for Todd. Uh, he is Swan in the house. All right, since we got so much to talk about, in let's uh, in your mouth. let's uh, let's I mean, get what? to let's get to some uh, <laughs> what they call housekeeping in the radio biz, the podcast biz, yo. Housekeeping, housekeeping. Yo. Oh, I thought you said gaping. No, no, housekeeping. <laughs> Uh, Maui Comic Con happening on uh, November 5th and 6th, courtesy of Maui Comics and Collectibles at the Lahaina Cannery Mall. Um, Lahaina Cannery Mall. That's it. That's the one. That's the that's, one. That's, that's November 5th and 6th, 10 to 7. You get bars there. 10 to 7. <laughs> you now owe them 50 cents. It's, I know, right? 10 to 7, yeah, uh, Saturday you and Sunday, November 5th and 6th. You're going to want to be there for that. We're going to have amazing, amazing comic book writers and artists. Tad Stones is going to be there. James Silvani will be there. Steve Lealoha will be there as well. We have some very fun panels uh, that are uh, that are going to be taking place there as well. Format's going to be there. Format's going to be there. Pokemon. <laughs> Go contest cosplay. It's gonna be insane. Yeah, Pokemon um, too. So uh, I'm just as glad well to, as Pokemon. I'm just glad to be a part of it. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. November fifth and sixth. But you're a very small part of it. I'm a very <laughs> small <laughs> part of like, it. Like honestly, it would go fine without you. It probably would. They wouldn't even know. Don't. That there. It Don't. probably would. I can't so, Alik, listen. Um, I probably Shots. won't be able to make it on the fifth. Whoa, and the hey. <laughs> Are we gonna do this on the end? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's fine. Um, you don't need them. So Maui Comics and Collectibles is the place you can get information. But more importantly, you can get information Maui at MauiComicCon.com. Maui You're like – yeah, that's fine. That's fine. MollyComicCon.com. Restart the Facebook feed. No, I mean, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, great. Anyway, uh, MollyComicCon.com is where you can get all the information you need. Uh, it is free to the public. Free to the public. You do not want to miss out on it. Uh, please come For the uh, public. Come dressed to cosplay impress. Uh, so, uh, the cosplay contest is going to be off yeah, the hook. Yeah, 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 for Night sure. Night Darling for sure. setting that up. Absolutely. Night, Night Darling is doing the contest, which is going to be a lot of They're fun. setting it up with her photographers Absolutely. and everybody. And we've got a good panel of judges. Gannon, I believe, is a judge, right? Gannon. Gannon. Yeah, Gannon. Yeah, yeah. 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 Gannon is You're a judge. judgmental guy. You're judgmental dude, you. And don't forget, um, it's it's not just Saturday. There's stuff going on Sunday, there's too. There's going to be a Kiki cosplay parade on Sunday for the yeah. other kids. And it's not oh, gonna, good. good. It's not going to be as competitive. Um, it's just more so people can uh, display. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fun sure. stuff. Let me take care of the peanut gallery. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, welcome, by the way. Welcome to Akaku and, of course, to YouTube and uh, to, to the those YouTubes. that are listening on the podcast the as well. Akakus. We really do appreciate it. Yeah. Um, there is one more piece of housekeeping that I want to take care of other than Maui Comic Con. Swan, no, you're fired. Swan. Oh, I mean, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I work for you guys? Holy crap. <laughs> Uh, no, I do want to get this out of the way. Um, November 3rd is uh, the Nerd Watch is back. Uh, we are doing the movie premiere of Doctor Strange. Oh, or, it's uh, going to be a fun physician one. Physician Unusual. Per- professor, professor Unusual. Physician. Physician, physician Unusual. unusual. He's, a oh, he's a doctor, right? You know those parody films we're watching? I'm waiting for that one. <laughs> that would be interesting. So, uh, <laughs> Doctor Strange, November 3rd. It's Tony's happening <laughs> at the Maui Mall Megaplex. Uh, for those of you that live here on Maui, we will be there. Uh, we'll be doing uh, some prizes. We'll be doing uh, uh, possible trivia about the source Supreme. Robert Downey Jr. will be there. Wow. No. Wait a minute. You can't say that. You always do okay. that. He, he might reschedule. But. Oh, oh, okay. He may. Okay. <laughs> Not in, oh. All right. Wow. Okay. Uh, he may. He, his, he's probably going to have to reschedule. Being there will yeah. be subject to availability. November 3rd. Uh, more information. He might be in the. Uh, <laughs> the the credit scene yeah the yeah mid, mid he might be in the movie wow yeah well listen he do us a favor that's true if you want more information about it check out our nerd watch page the event page is up for nerd watch uh and the doctor strange premiere it's going to be a lot Maui of fun comics is going to have a lot of giveaways for you guys for for doctor strange um and Some strange giveaways that's right and then uh we will be uh Honoring, uh, actually, the movie apparently is honoring the memory of Steve Ditko and his work on Doctor Strange in the movie, wow. which is kind of cool. Wow. I think that's very exciting. So it'll be a lot of fun. November third, the Nerd Watch is back to doing movie premieres, and thank God there's only for two whole movie. movies. Yeah. Then we're, we're and no, back thank, on, we're thank back God on there's only two because I can't do any more. Is there only two good? There's only two movies? huge movies. Yeah, yeah actually, much. no, there's probably three. Which one? Fantastic Beasts. Oh, Fantastic Beasts. We may do that and where to find them. Harry, I don't know if I'd have a giveaway for that, though. Harry Potter. I can, I can have giveaways. Harry. I'll just grab sticks from the outside <laughs> and hand them out as wands. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, listen, lots of stuff to talk about. I've said that a billion times, so let's get right to it. It is comic books, comic books, comic books all day at Maui Comics and Collectibles. All day. We're recording on a Tuesday night and of course Tuesdays is 20% off Tuesdays. Tomorrow is Wednesday. 20% off Tuesday. And tomorrow of course is Wednesday Tuesdays. and that means it's full priced <laughs> All new comic book Wednesday. You're not going to want to miss it. So uh, let's get the it's latest, a very popular day here. and greatest day. at Maui Comics and Collectibles at 333 Dairy Road. Here's what you can expect come new comic book Wednesday. My printer ran out of ink, so I'm oh, reading okay. these off the phone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so I got Action Comics 966, um, Action Man Revolution number one. Oh. <laughs> We've got uh, Aliens Defiance number six. All new, all different Avengers number fifteen. These are all out of order. Okay. Um, we got an Art of Atari hardcover book, which is pretty cool. Uh, Batgirl number four. Got some Batman animated series action figures coming in. Ooh. Batman Beyond number one. Nice. Yes. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I thought Batman Beyond already had a number one. I thought it was his. Rebirth. That was Rebirth one. That's Rebirth oh, one. Oh, no, this is oh. the number one. Remember DC? Did it really take that long for him to get a number one? I thought we had a number. We one. had um, wow. just the Rebirth. That's it. Okay. Um, Blue Beetle number two, mm-hmm. uh, Chew number fifty nine. Ooh, awesome! Yeah, John Layman came and visited the store. Oh, Great that's guy. right. 
creator Th- of Truth. Thank God Todd's not here. Or we'd go off an hour diatribe about that. Back then when the... Indie Comics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Civil War 2, number 6. Okay. Yeah, so people have been anticipating that. Hopefully How long that's is Civil War anyway? Eight issues. Oh. What's so civil about war, anyway? There's nothing That's civil. That's the great X Rose once said. About war. All right. <laughs> Deadpool 21. Deathstroke number five. Uh, Detective Comics 943. We got Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme number one. Yeah! That's, That's oddly one. timed. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get those. I really think that, that uh, Marvel missed the boat on uh, not doing a... Uh, a Pizza Hut promo with Doctor Strange. Why Pizza Hut? You could order the Sorcerer Supreme. <laughs> you know? They really missed the boat. On yeah. that. <laughs> you stupid, man. <laughs> it would be kind of cool. Now. It's too late now. I know it's too late now. But yeah. the Sage- Benedict Cumberbatch was on another commercial already. The anyway. Sage would have liked it. I'm really disappointed that nobody caught my inside joke on the, on the event page, by the way. Uh, nobody read the, the description. No, I did not. Yeah. Oh, no, I did. I, did, I wrote uh, his name as Benjamin Ke- Cabbage Patch. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Benjamin Cabbage Patch. I saw that. Benjamin Cabbage Patch. I saw that. Anyway, anyway, what else? Uh, Flash number nine. Um, uh, let's see. A new G.I. Joe. Those count. must be going fast. Oh, yeah. Okay. G.I. Joe? Yeah. No, Flash number nine. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Hal, Hal uh, that was a pun. Green, <laughs> yeah, it was. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps number seven. Okay. Uh, Hellblazer number three. Let's see. Jughead number ten. Is anybody reading that? I don't think so. Is, Archie is. Okay, Dude, quite, I'm blown away if people still read Archie. Can I, I have a question. Well, it's Fiona Staples doing the main run. Is it, Adam Hughes doing uh, Benny and Veronica. Is this version where Jughead's gay? Is he? That's what, what? I thought he was. Gay for hamburgers, maybe. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's the wimpy of Archie. That's the name of the pod. That's the name of the pod. Gay for hamburgers. <laughs> I don't maybe, know. Maybe. I, I just haven't. You need to add that. It I needs haven't to be read the full that thing. Facebook article yet, so I, I didn't. Or just maybe do it as a sense. Isn't he gay for hamburgers? Isn't he gay for hamburgers? That's good. Uh, Thanks, mighty, mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. People yeah. enjoy that one. Uh, My Little Pony. Friends Forever. Woo! Some of that MLP action. Uh, Norman number five. All right. Yeah. What is that one? That's Mean and Gannon right there. It's a murderous cartoon. It's pretty gory, actually. Okay. It's actually a really well put together story, though. Okay. It's from a uh, French guy named uh, is it Frank Silas. Oh, it's Something Silas. Yeah, he's Blah, French. Blah, Blah. The book started in France. Uh, we got Lemieux. The New Outcast by Kirkman and yeah. Azaceta. Azaceta, who we also interviewed. You yes, can go look into our archives. And, oh, not that outcast. Not that <laughs> outcast. <laughs> um, we've no got uh, Punisher no Annual thing. number one. Uh, Ooh. Rick and Morty number 19. Oh, yeah. Uh, How about get Swifty? <laughs> yes. Swifty. Everybody get Swifty and get that. Uh, saga number 39. Um, let's see what else we got. Savage Dragon 217. Savage. Man, there's some people Savage. excited for that. Savage. Yeah, I, I mean, it's actually picking up more steam. Well, that, really is, more. that really should be the name of a rock group. We Savage Dragon. Savage! Walk around the stage! Savage! Maybe Dragon. back in like the late there 80s. There was a band called worked. Savage, you dork. Well, I know there was. No, Savage, Savage. Dragon. Oh, Savage Dragon. Yeah. Dragon. Savage Dragon. There's actually a phone call to see if we're getting that tomorrow, too. Um, Silver Surfer number seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, is, is Silver, is Silver Surfer, Surfer still, still cool? the Herald for Galactus? <laughs> <Is he's> no. <laughs> no. He's actually um, the guy, I forget the guy's name, who did uh, Madman, Mike Allred. Um. Uh, he's doing the art for it, so it's really this weird, trippy, cartoony style. Uh-huh. So and he's just cruising. He's the off cosmos. on his own, just cruising his co- cosmos. Oh, good, good. I'm weird art style. Surfing the on a segway. It's not even a, it's not even a surfing yeah. <laughs> He's a silver segway now. They, they modernized it a little bit. <laughs> the yeah. Silver uh, segway. That's great. Uh, <laughs> silver segway. Spider Man Deadpool number 10. That's uh, pretty popular. Um, Star Wars so. number 24. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars Poe Dameron number 7. Oh, yeah. Uh, Street Fighter Unlimited number 11. Yeah. Uh, let's no, okay. see. Suicide Squad number 5. Uh-huh. Um, Teen Titans number 1. Okay. And let's see. Turtles, Turtles, Turtles. Yeah, turtles. TMNT Universe number 3. Then everything's yeah. trash after that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> totally Awesome Hulk number 11. Okay. It's a pretty Totally Awesome Hulk? Is that really what it's called? It's Amadeus Cho yeah, is the Hulk. that's the... Yeah. The, we, it's the Korean Hulk. Yeah, it's the Korean Hulk. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So he's a Coke. Mm, I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> wow. Probably, probably wow. shouldn't. <laughs> Racially yeah. insensitive. Well, it that way. Wait, due to the title, the like, does he do air guitar? <laughs> <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> like, like, since I have he's not a totally seen awesome him do Hulk. that yet. <laughs> <He's>, uh, <laughs> uh, wrapping it up. 
<laughs> Venom Space Knight number 13. Yay. Uh, He's an honorary member of the Wild Stallion. So Vig- <laughs> <laughs> Vigilante Southland number one of six. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vision number 12. Mm-hmm. And uh, Wonder Woman number nine. And mm-hmm. Wonder Woman 75th anniversary special number one. For Vision. What about a bunch of those? Is there a centerfold in that one? Huh? Uh, no, I'm s- anyway. That's, that's sexist. Uh, that's super is that, sexist. Uh, is it? Oh, no, I'm sorry. And you know what? You know what's going to be great is when Trina Robbins comes and she does her panel on women in comics and the sexism oh. they faced. I want to. I wonder if it's going to be like when sunlight hits a vampire and you start burning. <laughs> How palpable it's going to be? Yeah. <laughs> you mean he's going to burn? Right, right, right. He's going to burn. Right, yeah. right, right. He's the one uh, hosting the panel. Yeah, yeah. I'm hosting the panel. So. Oh no, I think Trina. Are you can really? Herself. I, <laughs> yo, I'm hosting a lot of the panels. She, yeah. She's actually got a whole um, presentation set up too. Like oh, she fantastic. actually has one that she does regularly, so great, it's going to be great. good fun. <laughs> oh, go take it down a peg or two. I gotta tell you, I'd rather see that panel than the Jim Lee panel that I did see. Wow! The, what happened at the wow. gym? That's an he amazing comic. He's just and talking about comics. I was, I'm actually more interested in what Trina Robbins has to say about comics than Jim Lee. She honest. and you know, I got a sneak peek because I'm doing the communication between uh, Professor Barry for his Maui Time Weekly interview, and he's been interviewing our guests. Yes, um, via email before they get here. What? And uh, Trina Not had Barry. some pretty entertaining uh, responses to Barry's questions. Oh, cool! And very insightful too. Cool, awesome. Uh, I just and- want the panel to happen, and whenever they say about. Like something difficult that they had to deal with back in the day, they all look at Greg. No. And then they go back to the dealing panel. with <laughs> this kind of guy. <laughs> this this is the kind of sexism we face every day. <laughs> right. uh, we would face sexism on the elevator. <laughs> That'd be awesome, right? Like like <laughs> and and the be, lobby. Be That'd be great, right? So now you've written this, this fantastic <laughs> Wonder Woman more. comic. This is had to have been much harder than doing the you dishes, know, maybe right? Maybe get nostalgic for them <laughs> hanging out with you, G. That's right. Like, man, I feel like I'm back in the fifties. Back in the, I'm back at home. <laughs> I'm back at home. Um, uh, anyway, you can check out all of those new comics here at Maui Comics and Collectibles, three 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 Dairy Road, in Kahului, Maui Comics and Collectibles. All right. Well. Let's get to it, shall we? Lots of movie, game, and television to stop it. Let's lead with the first uh, all right, let's piece of with, news with, you have here. All right, uh, fine. Donald Glover cast as Han Solo. Okay, in the Han Solo first of Solo. all, I was <laughs> right, as Han Solo. I was writing fast, and I knew it was Lando. <laughs> and the they're doing thing, that race switching thing with Star Wars. That's <laughs> yeah, pretty risky. That's getting risky. That's a good. Uh, I mean, honestly, this first locked in canon. Like, I'm totally down to see Donald Glover play Han Solo. Uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, <laughs> I think Donald Glover would be a tremendous Han Solo. Although it's going to be. Yeah, I think it's going to be kind of hard to reconcile how different he's going to look from Harrison right. Ford. I'm, and I'm not even trying to get into racial implications. Yeah, yeah, you think yeah. there's going to be people that they're going to like do knowing glasses? Like, right, right. There's something different about you. Right, right. <laughs> no, you know what? Just put him in the collared shirt and the black vest and what I will me- know he's I want to see this movie. What I meant to write was Donald Glover is going to be Lando Calrissian. That's not that interesting. Him playing Han Solo is interesting. I believe it is. <laughs> I agree with you. Um, I, think Donald, I think you make a great Lando, though. Do we seriously. think do we think Donald Glover will be a good Lando yeah. Calrissian? And especially the pictures they chose to go with those articles. He looks smooth as hell, man. Okay. As long as, as he's slinging some though, Colt 45. His stand-up, his stand-up, but his stand-up is years he's ago. Very, he's a very... Very nerdy, but I, I like yeah, that. Yes. But um, if you've watched Atlanta, his new show, it's called Atlanta, right? It depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, it's yeah. Atlanta. Yeah. Paul as an actor. I've watched <laughs> the first couple episodes, and he, he's he got some range, man. Mm-hmm. And especially the shots they picked for the article to show like pictures of Donald. He's, he's like making this smooth-ass Lando face, and you're like... So he may not be Spider-Man, but he certainly is going to be in the Star Wars series. Jerry's so, so he's, he can still play Miles Morales. That, that is he's true. He good. could. But he's I mean, a little old for Miles Morales now. I just though. hope that in the movie he's still a little old for high school. Yes, yes, yes. He, he needs to learn how to hawk. Colt 45. I think he, format's right. He'll sneak in a reference. Uh, he better. Because he's a comedian. So, he'll Colt. Do it. Why would Colt 45, 45 be around in the Star Wars? First of all, he'll pro- it'll probably be the you name under- of like, his droid. You under- like, come here, ZOLT 45. You <laughs> underestimate the... ZOLT 45. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You, That's under- his, like, droid. you, you <laughs> underestimate the so power. <laughs> the power of Colt 45. Okay, now that just has to exist. <laughs> We need to make a petition for that. And it has to make be it the, the set. And now it has to be blue and gold because that's going to be the. <laughs> <laughs> Poor man, can't you just make that? Yeah, you just could. make an yeah, R two sure. unit look yeah. like that and so, just call it the CLT. So anyway, uh, for yeah. those of you watching and listening, Donald Glover will be uh, the uh, the, s- the the scoundrel. Um, 
The second best. The scoundrel. second best scoundrel. He'll be Lando hello, Calrissian. Hello, what have we here? Maybe we'll see how. <laughs> we'll see how. That's the best I can do. Right? <laughs> I hope he gets into it like James Brolin did as Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. really gets into, the character yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff. No, right from Men in Black Three. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, legit though, he looks like he would grow up to be Billy D. Williams in Empire. I don't see that though. I do. I actually do. But what? the camera, the pictures they used, really, you can see it, but. What, how well, he, I think Donald Glover looks from Community and from his stand-up. Uh, I, he looks I, I like a better match for Billy D than the guy they cast to play Hanzo, which I can't even remember that. Billy, I think his yeah, name is like Billy Eichenreich or something. Whatever his name is. I don't see him as a match for Hanzo, no. just image-wise. I, well, it's going to be he fun. Hair. It's going to be fun to yeah. see the Han Solo movie <laughs> just because I, I, I'm, I'm assuming that the big, one of the big scenes is going to be how Lando loses the ship to... Yeah, uh, they are. To I guarantee you that's that. probably the basis of the whole movie. It could be. I don't want to watch that movie, it. though. This, I would so watch This it. Han Solo movie could be... I don't I could watch bathe, that movie. I, if that movie was just a real-time dinner mm-hmm. with Han Solo and yeah. Lando, I just want to live in the Star Wars universe, so I really don't care if there's story. My, di- right. my dinner with Lando? Lando. <laughs> you know, seriously, what I would love that movie to be is like a buddy cop kind of movie. That's what I said. It's good. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be the Star Wars comedy everybody wants to see. It's going to be a buddy cop. Just the ship, and they're getting right. into stuff. Yeah, like, and they're like smuggling. We're watching them smuggle. That'd be awesome. Uh, but question is: Is this pre or post Chewbacca? Hmm. Oh, that's, oh, that's a that's fascinating a question. question. But he, I would, uh, I would well, imagine pre. He already knew about Chewbacca. Correct. So he, he part knew Chewie's history. Right. But so my question is: Chewie Is that is there. right? But I'm my my question is: Does the does the does the series or the movie start pre? Because he's known he's known Lando. I would say, okay, if it was up to me, have Chewie there. But uh-huh. every time Han and, and Lando are hanging out, you just see Chewie in the background being all jealous. Like, with, oh, that'd be good. Like he's all like irritated. Like he's a about jealous Lando. lover. Yeah, that'd be. He awesome. doesn't like that Lando gets so much attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, but then Lando becomes that guy because he's like, I want to call Darth. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. 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 A Chewbacca. I'm we find out that Chewbacca is the reason friend. why he wanted to you go to Bespin. Know, you know in that movie. There's going to be a moment where he's just like, "I would never ever sell you out." They're going to have something along those lines. That makes you remember. I Empire. hope it's on an outside deck on the Cloud City with the, the wind in their hair. She's like, "Yeah," and it's I, like a nice sunset. And he's like, "I'd never sell you out." I will bro. never ever sell That's you right, out, especially not to Darth Vader. There's going to be a lot of there's going to be a lot of offhanded right. like you know references to Empire. You just know there will be. <laughs> You know what's funny? This could be this could be Star Wars' version of we Lethal should, Weapon. We, <laughs> let's, I'm let's, getting too let's, old for let's this. Let's make sure to review this before that movie comes yes, out and then yes. see how much what we're saying matches, matches up with the movie. Right, is. right, right. I hope the the Falcon, you know, changing hands is in the movie, but I hope that's like a, oh, yeah. not a major part of the movie. <laughs> you know what it's going to be? It's gonna I, be like, I can't stand watching like a... T- like a half an hour of Star Wars poker. It's, it's just going to be Han Solo answering Lando's uh, Craigslist ad. That's right. <laughs> it's going to be called Lethal. Must come with walking carpet. That's right. It's going to be called <laughs> Le- Lethal Falcon. That's what it's going to be called. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Donald Glover, good choice as Lando Calrissian. And um, Han Solo. And Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote Han Solo by accident. I was writing On fast. purpose. Anyway. I wish I took a picture says. of it and posted it on our I know, you should. Purposely, <laughs> accidentally. Before format fixed it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Also, uh, uh, in more uh, movie news this week, um, st- sticking with uh, properties, uh, Disney properties, Marvel. Well, it's not even a Disney property any- uh, technically. Uh, it's a Fox property. Logan. The trailer for Logan has hit uh, hit All the interwebs. <laughs> um, I can tell you the one person that's not impressed, and that's Alika. Um, but um, what? no, did you no, say I was but, impressed? Okay, no, no, not but, impressed. Okay, oh yeah, I'm not Alika impressed. might be able to say you can get away with it because in Old Man Logan, there's no emphasis on costumes, costumes, right. the costume. That's true. Of the X-Men. That's true. If, if it does follow the Old Man Logan, okay. story. Although Old Man Logan had nothing to do with the X twenty three story arc. No, well, what the, the, you got to remember that you only have so much to work with. So I have to. Yeah, like, I yeah, mean, you like, built yeah, entire history. Like, yeah, that's yeah. all they have to work. You with. You have a fourteen year canon of total crap. So you yeah. really, to be consistent, need to make this movie total crap as well. Well, well what's even more confusing is exactly where is this movie in the? Why is Patrick Stewart so damn old? <laughs> <laughs> the completely convoluted timeline of yeah, these movies at this point is like, where does this movie figure into? The well, rest if you of them now? If, well, if you notice, I because mean, because Days of the Future Past, Patrick Stewart was like rosy cheeked, he had mm-hmm. smooth skin. Right. This one, he's like, oh, help me, I can't walk. Right. And then, and he of has course, hair again, if you get even Wolverine is, facial hair too. Wolverine's got scars. 
Oh, well, yeah. yeah, they, yeah, yeah that's, that, that's not though, yeah. controversial, yeah. No, but what I'm saying they, is they, they say that he's, Logan, he's losing his, his mutant, his mutant, mutant powers. Mutant powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, it looks decent, but the, I have to tell you, it was pretty bold for them to choose the, the way they pr- portrayed the trailer with, I mean, with Johnny Cash and the whole, the, the music and. They want to, they want to separate. They really, right, right, right. And it's going to be an R-rated movie, apparently. Um, so yeah, we put that right. claw through the guys. They all are. Pretty much. Oh yeah. So we will see. I Hello, can't. Red at, at this point, it's not in to me. It's not that important, like how it follows Old Man Logan or. I hope how, Deadpool how it shows. Up. It's definitely not going to be following. What, Old Man I, Logan. what I want that movie yeah, to be can. is just like the strongest Hugh Jackman Wolverine movie we're ever going to get because it's the last time we're going to see. The last Wolverine. time we're going to see him is Wolverine. Yeah. So, right. yeah, that's true. And uh, it should just be a strong Hugh Jackman Wolverine movie, and then just remove. To speak for Alika, uh, for Hugh Jackman, good riddance. Um, wow! Yeah, that's wow. you didn't like him. As no, I I didn't mind him, but he didn't like. He wasn't wearing the costume. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can't he, he can't be blamed for that. Okay. He worked with what he had. He would have been a great Disney Wolverine. I, it's extremely I would think. compelling because the movie kind of looks like, and I, I don't know if all of you will get this, but it, it has this feeling of. Video. It, it looks like Terminator Salvation. It it kind of. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it looks like totally The Last does. of Us. The video game, the PS4 video game, The Last of Us. The guy, the, the yeah, guy, yeah. the girl. I saw that meme the, comparing them. And I, and no, but Which even before. The reason why he's no, no, no. Right. Even before the meme came out, when I saw that trailer, you I was totally like, this is what it, right. it feels nah, like. Right. I mean, we're not, we're not talking about sports. Greg also and, invented bread. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Sliced. <laughs> White bread. All right. Nice. That, so, but the thing I'm most excited about about this movie is X23. That's uh, like I've seen uh, I've seen Hugh Jackman be Wolverine like 30 times. Could already. she look more depressed in the more. trailer though? Oh, she's gonna look good. Though. Does it look like they're living in a very friendly, positive world anymore? Hey, that, true. You time. know she's gonna go savage in this movie because oh, of that's the point is. of her character yeah, of and Logan being together is him trying to train her to control the. Um, the berserker, you know, crazy side. Right, right, right. Really. And I her feral side. I'm very, I'm very interested. If how I wonder how they're going to do that with the girl. Like it almost, it almost has shades of um. Right. I, I mean, how how w- she's so young. I wonder how the violence is going to really portray itself. If only itself. Summer Glaw was 15 years younger. Oh yeah, she would have been, been a great X twenty two. I just, I'm just want to. I'm curious. I'm curious how they're going to deal with the violence, especially with someone as young as her, and in a Marvel They've movie. They've already stepped it up in the ads. Did they? Like, I can't, well, yeah. I can't imagine them excluding her from it, right. especially her character is very savage in the comics. For sure, for sure. All I know is Ryan Reynolds' parody of the poster is genius. With him holding Where the hand, Deadpool and Wolverine well, holding the hands. <laughs> it's, it's great. <laughs> Uh, so Logan, I love that he always has to throw Deadpool in on every. What I like about the movie is that it's very minimalist. As in, there's three main characters that we really are it's worried about. It's also just a teaser trailer. Yeah, it's true. There's really not a lot true. there to chew on. It's just it's just tone. There's a guy with a cybernetic here. hand. It could get bigger, but the problem is everything in Old Man Logan was about the Avengers and yeah, auxiliary a lot of Old Man Logan, Logan stories has, they has a lot to do. So when they, they don't when you pair it all when you pair it all off, all you have is. Professor X and Logan and some auxiliary so characters. It's just but that's Logan okay. Theory. The Reavers. I think you could still Woo! do that story without. So, it. Yeah, Reavers. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's not going to be. You do you do lose a lot because the confrontation at the end of Old Man Logan is what's important. Sure. Him against Hulk for the last time, yeah. which you're not right. going to have that obviously. But mm. I don't know because it'll be Wolverine versus the Reavers. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are those the Reavers? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Wow. Well, Minus, uh, uh, Logan is going to be hitting theaters uh, before. I don't March. know if I don't. I'm, I'm very she's dead in this timeline. I'm not surprised, <laughs> but of course it's it's hitting March before Marvel's big uh, Disney Marvel's big summer movie fair. So I mean, if Marvel Superman, Disney, Batman Disney v Marvel. Superman could do yeah, it, I guess, it's it's I guess I guess Wolverine can do it, or excuse me, Logan can do it. Um, what does Marvel have in me? Uh, Marvel has what we're going to talk about next. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two oh. the no, trailer uh, also came just out. A quick bit of trivia for Logan. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do you know his last name? Nobody answer. I don't want to hear G's. Logan, that isn't isn't it, it Gabe? <laughs> Was it torture? You think his name is Logan Gabe? Man, you stupid man. <laughs> Everybody knows it's Jackman. That's right. It's <laughs> Logan Jackman. Seriously, okay. does anybody here know what his last name is? Torser. Um, <laughs> no, it's not. Howlett. <laughs> Hewlett. Not Logan Howlett. Howlett it's Howlett. 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 That's uh, got it. All right, you bunch of comic book nerds. It's a big reveal. <laughs> That was Rick. a big reveal in the recent uh, Wolverine Origins six-part series. 
oh. which was amazing. If anybody hasn't read that, yeah. And there's another six part series called The End, which is about his, uh, you know, how he dies in the future. It's completely off from Old Man Logan, not on that. Topic. If that Origins comic book is anywhere near as good as the Origins X Men Wolverine movie, then uh, <laughs> I'm sure. Don't watch be. that movie. No. All right. It's way better. It's than got that. the best Deadpool ever. Superman 4. The it was the first piece Deadpool. is better than that. True. <laughs> wow. That is, I, I'd have to agree with you on that. That, that is true. But anyway, getting back to the point, uh, we are seeing a uh, um, Marvel in May, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 yes. in theaters. Uh, we saw the trailer for it about a minute and forty seven yeah, seconds. No, going straight to DVD. No big, <laughs> <laughs> no big uh, story reveals. Just a lot of visuals and, uh, of course, the familiar very and little group, a familiar super uh, cute baby group music. Like literally looks, a little group. I have to say that I'm just excited to see it. And it looks like they cleaned up the uh, rendering on Rocket. Yeah, he looks really like a real raccoon. It looks really, and well. it looks like. Um, it also looks like. Um, uh, Yandu is actually part of the. His, he's got his mohawk. Yeah, and he it looks like yeah something happens to the Ravagers and yeah, he, they he probably yeah. throw him out part of the like ga- Guardians. Like he's, he's walking, walking through a scene where now. the whole Ravager ship's being destroyed and he's yeah. just calmly walking through. Very and cool. And then he gets his mohawk back in one of the promo shots. Yeah, so. I, listen, I'm uh, I'm very excited. I hope it's I hope it's as good as I'm oh, wondering. Is, it's gonna exceed because if Yondu has his. Mohawk mm-hmm. and it glows when he uses his arrow. That's gonna be like the whole movie. I want yeah, that's gonna make it. the whole movie, dude. I'm curious. The entire movie is his hair me, slowly man. growing. Everybody, you know, <laughs> everybody's be like Groot, whatever. Right. Uh, yeah. It's so Michael Rooker with a mohawk. That's yeah. what I'm here for. That's true. That's what you're there for. Baby Groot with a Ravager jacket. My question is: oh, Is that snap. is this gonna be the oh. movie that m- connects them the- to the real world? As in, no, or, no. This is James Gunn's like so anti that. I know something's got to give. Something's got to give. I mean, they already were because of Thanos and right. the Collector. There's right. two. There's already two ties. Right. I don't think they need more. I think everybody's drawing their own conclusions. Just like we said when we were seeing Civil War, um, the movie is like. Marvel assumed we've seen all these movies already. Right. So James Gunn is like, they've watched these movies. They don't right. need to. I'm just do curious these if the Guardians. Right. I'm wondering through. if Guardians is going to go to Earth or if or or if the Avengers. Oh, it's going cosmic. Tony Infinity Wars. Space. You know what I mean? Yeah, so what I mean. we're probably going to see the Guardians in Infinity Wars. And so I'll bet form. you a million bucks we don't see any of that in part two. Yeah, okay. Cool. I'm just kind of curious when I I'm think. I think. Thread part, that needle. I think part two is going to be the one where James Gunn is really allowed to do whatever but, he wants. True. The, the whole Thanos thing. He said it before that. He wasn't that excited about throwing it in there. He understood why he had to kind of play ball and put it in there mm-hmm. as part of the team. But, like, you don't need it anymore because now you've established Guardians of the Galaxy. true. So the connection issue is not that necessary for his second movie. I'll bet you a million bucks you're not going to see anything with the Guardians going to Earth until Avengers Infinity War. All right. You pay me a million bucks if it has nothing to do with the Avengers. Or I, I, d- I doubt you're going to see anything to do. Maybe at the post credit scene or they're going to have like, oh, we have a distress call from Earth or something like that. Right, but right. I doubt you're going to see them going All right. Well, I was we'll impressed. Some good? I was impressed some with the bad? visuals, though. I thought it was fun. A little bit of both? A little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> I like the I like the trailer that we got. It was a lot of fun, and I'm very very excited. You're hooked on a feeling for Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy Volume Two. Um, also, because uh, we are we are 33 minutes into the show, and we didn't talk about anything yet. We have we've only talked about a few things, but uh, next Greg was the, talking a lot. I was yeah. I talked quite a bit. Uh, lots of information on Deadpool Greg's Two came out. Talk about this Danny week. Glover being Han Solo. Danny Glover, Han Solo. <laughs> Danny Glover. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Glover is He on. somehow traveled back in time. He did. His older self. <laughs> and, My and, buddy Han. And, 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 like, I'm definitely too old for this. I'm too old. It further for confirms this. the whole Lethal Falcon idea right. um, as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, Deadpool 2, lots of news, uh, big news. Tim Miller, the man who originally uh, directed uh, Deadpool, is mm. out of right. uh, Deadpool and Quentin 2. Quentin Tarantino's in. <laughs> Well, according to a bunch of fanboys, he is. That according to a bunch of dumb fanboys. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're not they're... that smart because don't they know who Quentin Tarantino is and what he does? Quentin Tarantino said he would never make a comic book movie. Right, exactly. And this would be so the worst one for him to do. time with a petition? Yeah. yeah it's it's not gonna make do you know good... how serious Quentin Tarantino takes himself? Mm-hmm. He would ruin Deadpool. There yeah. could be a hundred million signatures of Quentin Tarantino to do Deadpool 2. He's still like, that's nice, but I'm still not doing it. Nope. nope. Petition yeah. doesn't mean anything. Well, I don't let's care get, why everybody thinks they they think you should do it. Let's get to the meat of he swears a lot. Yes, he does. Just because yeah. he has and, he, and he's got a movies. and he got a and he's got a handle on violence. Some yeah, violence, shocking well, violence, shocking violence. Nothing Which about his movies suggests he should do Deadpool. So Deadpool two, 
Um, well, then uh, why wouldn't I have change.org on my bookmarks? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it looks like Tim Miller and Ryan Reynolds had a creative difference in uh, at least one of the the uh, one of the things that came the out. Rumor was is cable casting. Cable yeah. casting. Uh, one wanted, but a, also apparently he wanted to spend a ton of money on the next one, and they're still trying to keep it small. Small, which I think is a better idea to keep it a little smaller. Yeah. But I mean, they wanted a funny cable or a very serious cable. Well, also hearkening back to Rob Liefeld visiting the shop, in because oh la di da. He's, you know, he's um, privy to what's going on. In the there. creator of Deadpool and has been in Molly Comics. On, that's like confidential or anything, but he except for everything, hinting that he told, <laughs> he told us who Domino is going to be. No, he didn't. Yeah, he totally didn't. He the told noid because wow. they don't even know who Domino is. Yet. We're not going to tell you, but he told us. <laughs> he wow, the wow. Noid is he hinted Domino. at there being more. <laughs> So anyway, what, what did Liefeld say? They said he Margot said there Robbie's is going to play Domino. Going to be a crap ton of mutants in this movie. Really? Yeah, yeah Con- but none of I, them are names. And I said, I said, muties. costumed mutants. And he goes, "Oh yeah." Wow. He said Hugh Jackman's going to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> so our Liefeld. Has so if he was comfortable enough saying that, that makes me think anything that happens to Deadpool two mm-hmm. now it doesn't matter because all costume Newtons. That's all I needed. All right. Get well, ready to watch here, all here's the thing: feels hurt when is he that get it. I think yeah, I'll, I'll cry. If I, I only happen. think that the Deadpool two movie works, especially with a cable that's a serious cable, because you have to let Deadpool be the guy that that does the joke. He should be the only guy that's funny. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. He's the only guy in on the joke. Right. I actually right. felt that Ajax was a little too funny for. You know that thing. I agree. I he was like a little agree. too answer back. He should have been more serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Um, but uh, ultimately, though, I think I think the more serious cable is important, and I do think that Stephen Lang. Uh, well, was Stephen Lang the only casting option? Uh, no, no, there? there are there are other options. That, I know there's that a been, lot of people pushing yeah. for Perlman. That's the only guy that should be playing. Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman's great. Ron He's Ron not Perlman's handsome good. enough, though. Right. Stephen Lang. Nothing against Ron Perlman, yeah. but his the face of Cable is supposed to be like this handsome, haggard old. Somebody dude. told me that they John Ham would have been great. They don't think Stephen Lang is old enough. What? Yeah, no, he's too oh, old. He's plenty old. Yeah. <laughs> they think that he's not old enough. Did they like, not really? watch Don't Breathe? Uh, that by turkey the way, baster scene? I, I watched that movie they probably just didn't. last night. Uh, wow. Turkey baster scene, sir. Holy crap. Yeah. Anyway, Good times. I'm guessing we'll, they did we'll, we'll talk Good about that later. Time. I don't um, Deadpool 2, um, you know, regardless, I... It gets dry. You if there's moist, one thing... Enough, moisten. enough. <laughs> if there's one thing that Fox does not want to do is screw up the one good thing that's come out of uh, out of that uh, comic or that, that Marvel studio at Fox in a long time. Yeah, heaven, for, heaven forbid any of the X movies that have been monetarily successful since day one. But it's yeah, Deadpool. No, well, no, no, I mean, no, that's why I said recently. I meant as in recently because it, let's be honest, they're, Apocalypse hasn't really made that much money. Garbage. It didn't It didn't flop either. It didn't flop either. Every every Alika, to be honest, but, don't hold funny. back, Alika. But there's, a, piece, there's about five to ten seconds in each of those movies Brothers that are worthwhile. De- well, Deadpool. And is- if you strung them together, you still wouldn't have a full movie. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, Deadpool still is the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time. Really? I believe. Uh, yes. I could be wrong about that. Uh, believe go- all that's you what want. He believes. Google check me. Google check me, guys. But anyway, Deadpool two. Tim Miller's off. I'm I'm kind of bummed about it because he did such a great job with number one. But mm-hmm. um, a new it's version what is always when good. The star of your movie gets more cred. Yeah, than you do. That's true. Yeah. That's exactly what Ryan happens. Ryan Reynolds now has Ryan the so now Reynolds. Don't, don't get too cocky, sir. But uh, we hope we can't wait to see your Deadpool. Well, too. I mean, they literally can't make a Deadpool movie without him. That's true. That's true. So whatever he says goes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not true. Who did the voice of Deadpool on? Uh, it's just a suit now. Oh well. You know what I mean? Not true. <laughs> Not true. Oh, oh. You see what he did there, though, right? Yeah, yeah. You, okay, just checking if you picked it up. Picked that up. Was that okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like Batman. It's just a suit <laughs> just now. Just a suit now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, moving down the line, Christian Bale um, can just phone it in. <laughs> <laughs> Christian Bale wasn't oh, man, even man. on set for Dark Knight Rises. It was just a stand-in, right? Exactly. <laughs> they CG'd his oh. mouth and had to redo all the lines. When he was- <laughs> moving down the line of my uh, news, uh, moving on to uh, comic book properties that are not movies but are television shows. Uh, Steve Dillon, one of the creators of Preacher, passed away at 54 years old this week. Oh, man. Uh, this past week, um, I didn't know he was sick. Yeah, yeah I didn't know either. Close. 
Novel um, Heartman. Um, oh. Steve, uh, Steve Dillon. If you've never if you've never read any of the preacher books, or if you've if you've only uh, gazed upon the preacher uh, television show this summer, uh, he is partially responsible for that. Him and Garth Ennis. Um, uh, partially, Steve, he makes up a full half of that creative team. Well, that's what I'm saying. So much of that book has more to do with his art than and, half. Ennis and Dylan have been. I mean, that's like their fourth or fifth before they like really yeah. struck it on that one. But even right. their the ones that I mean, they worked on Animal Man together. That's, they revived that. That's one they've of the been, perfect. Been together yeah. for a while. That's one of the perfect matches of of a writer and an artist. Like I don't know what Ennis is going to do with that. They did that Hellblazer run together, right. which revived Hellblazer again. Like Constantine was a well known property and liked, but I mean everything they thank did you, in the nineties. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, it's interesting is that, I mean, we the older I get, the more you realize, like, 54 was not that old, man. I know, you're only two yeah, years, you're you're really two close, years right? younger than that. <laughs> Why don't you shut the F up, man? <laughs> <laughs> you're like only two years behind that guy. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. Old man Turner. No, no, no. Uh, old man Turner. <laughs> Uh, but uh, Steve Dillon, sir, uh, your work shall live on, uh, of course, obviously longer than you, and people will remember you for your great work. So, um, yeah. Man. Obviously longer than you. Obviously. Please do not do the eulogy at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> obviously longer than you. Obviously longer than you. Oh, wow, dude. Sorry, man. Sorry. Anyway. I mean, but technically nice or if you do my eulogy. <laughs> yeah. Make sure the front row, yeah. in, you know, in, in the in the church is, is doing it like uh, MST three K style. Okay. <laughs> so everything they you say, me. they're just heckling, heckling me. You. Okay, gotcha. uh, I'll, I'll make sure of that. So, that. Uh, so uh, Steve Dillon, sir, you shall be missed. Man, you call was, me. A question. <laughs> a question. Maybe you guys know. Was Steve? Was he working on anything before he passed? I don't think Steve so. Dillon? I'm not too sure. I don't think so. No? I think he was raking in all the... <laughs> all that preacher cash. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure, like Michael Turner, he's going to have 5,000 variant covers. Yeah. Come he's got, he's <laughs> probably got a vault of drawings. They're going to out of nowhere. They're going to yeah. find a sketchbook of his that he just doodled on. They're going to find an Olive Garden napkin that he drew on when he, you know, just... Yeah, like that, that Michael Turner is really cranking him out now that he's dead. <laughs> he's probably right? got more work coming out now than he did when he was alive. Yes, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghost variants. Can we order any of those ghost variants? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, well, there we go. We could. Anyway, listen, here's the thing. A uh, couple more subjects to get to. This will be the last of the TV subjects. Flash was tonight. Brand new Flash. Woo! Monday was Supergirl. Mirror Master. Mirror Master was oh, on tonight. Supergirl was on Monday night. We saw Miss Martian Hunter. And then, of course, Sunday. Okay, uh, uh, and what will all be talking Martian, about? Martian Manhunter. Miss Martian. Martian Manhunter. Sorry. Miss Martian Hunter. Yeah, she's... I know. I just called her Miss Martian Manhunter. Anyway, um, Sunday. After we said The it. big premiere. Was season season seven of The Sizen Walking Dead seven. season Sizen seven. seven? I got to remember it's being shot in Georgia, so I got to <laughs> get my accent. Oh, uh, you're in your peaches. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> season seven uh, premiere uh, of The Walking Dead this uh, this past Sunday. Did With everybody vegan, at I this mean, table vegan. get to see it? Yes. Okay. Everybody did seen as well. it by now. Yeah. Um, because like, people have been posting it frame by frame on Facebook. I know, right? Uh, Non-stop. <laughs> well, Somebody like, made their profile picture. My favorite meme is uh, the Popeyes meme. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Carl. 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 <laughs> Carl. Well, What's listen. Glenn's favorite restaurant? I'm Popeyes, <laughs> Coral. <laughs> Too soon, Dad. Too soon. Popeyes, Coral. We only have a few minutes, so I just want to get to this really quick. Go round table. Uh, give us your thoughts. Let's start with you, Alika. Your thoughts on season seven premiere? And, uh, I'm excited. Go the way you want. I'm excited for the flamboyant characters that we're going to meet. Okay. And the gore is no longer shocking, so it's like, although, uh, are, are we going to be spoiling here? Should we spoil? Or, yes, you know, spoil away. It's weird because there was such like, um, everybody. Here's yeah. where Swan's going to put spoilers. I forget what it was. Cool. There was a season premiere last season, and everybody was like, "We're so not going to be on the internet spoiling this." Like Batman v Superman, or everybody sure. was so together, and nobody yeah. spoiled it for a week. Walking Dead season seven premiere was like as soon as the premiere was done. One bam, minute bam, yeah. online, the new memes. You had uh, the, picture the, the, the picture of the picture of Glenn and yeah. and then uh, sloth. Daryl's from Goonies. getting a lot of hate. <laughs> I love the sloth from I Goonies, and they're like, "Glenn was like, I will find you." <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you were you it impressed brutal, with it? Though. You liked it? Yeah, I mean, brutality at its finest. I, you know, I I don't like when Walking Dead. St- Days, a whole episode in one scene, but I think they had to do that to s- establish what's going to happen next with Negan. So uh, I'm guessing so. Swan, what about you? I enjoyed it very much. Format sent me a slew of memes in the comments. <laughs> like I loved his, 
I am vegan, and it's Negan with the giant cellar. <laughs> 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 and then it shows um, Abraham and Glenn together, mm-hmm. and they're just holding, and they're like, nah, then, mm-hmm. now splattered to the ground wow. together. Uh, um, f- format, you had some very strong, um, you had some very strong reactions to it. I saw, I was, I was well, watching. It, it you shed some tears, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, legit. Um, I don't know. There's just something about, like, I didn't go out of my way to watch the show, but when it was on, I didn't. You've you know, always go made out a point to say to that on the. Sh- you've always made it a point to say that on the right. show, so like you were. I-, I watched the show without watching the show, if right. that makes any sense. Um, but I mean, like some people may scoff at it and they mm-hmm. make make fun of it. But I mean, this is like you let these characters into your life for six years, six plus years. And Glenn was one of those that oh, yeah. they meant for you to right, get attached right. to, and. Uh, like you knew it was coming, right? But when it happened, it was like, wow, that was really like you knew it was coming. But to actually see it happen, yeah, that, it that was, was something completely different. So yeah, yeah, it's. Are you looking forward to the? Seen, uh, huh, what are you is looking that? forward to the next episodes? I am. Like, uh, it wasn't until last night or you know this season premiere that I was actually interested in watching. The show. Interesting. Was Negan probably the driving force behind that? Um, maybe a little bit. Like I'm a big fan of Jeffrey D. Morgan, so seeing him so awesome as a comedian, isn't he? Mm-hmm. In the Watchmen, and then Underrated, just seeing him, um, uh, like I've, I've seen him in a bunch of stuff, like you know, like like Supernatural, and uh, of course. And, uh, it's crazy Grey's how Anatomy, that dude's but, been uh, in a ton of stuff, but he it doesn't is. seem to really get fanfare. No, he He's doesn't. Not really. I thought he was much. amazing as a comedian like that. Like, no, no, he was. I was so. Yeah, but how definitely. often do you see people oh, talk yeah. about it? That's my I know. Point. That, like yeah. he's in so much stuff, and nobody yeah. really gives him any fanfare. I mean, him and that love affair with Izzy and Grey's Anatomy was insane. Yeah. Anyway, he was on Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> he's been on almost every show you watch. Pretty much. My wife he, watches. I don't watch Grey's Anatomy. A ghost at one point. Freaking hate that show. Anyway, he was the dad in Weeds. He was the dad in Super. Natural, Natural, like, yeah. <laughs> he so, was Bruce Wayne's dad. Yeah, yes, yep. he was. Yeah. Thomas Wayne. He was Thomas Wayne. He's, Flashpoint he's Batman. And everything. Maggie <laughs> and Maggie was uh, Thomas uh, was Bruce's mom. Yeah, and, and that's like, why that's why he killed Glenn. That's because, why he killed you know, Glenn. That's right. You don't rub another man's rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Gannon, wow, that what really about does you? give a whole that new does, level right? to that scene, though. Gannon, what about you, sir? What do you think? Yeah, Red Dawn. Yeah, Red Dawn. Red Dawn. That disembodied right, voice Don. is Bruce, by the way. That was, <laughs> sir. There you go. Uh, what'd, you, what'd you think? What'd you think, Gannon? About what? Uh, season 7 uh, premiere. About Batman v Superman? <laughs> no, season 7 of Walking Dead premiere. Uh, you know, it's weird. Um, it's it's like it's a very telegraph thing if you read the books. So right. it's kind of strange. Like Everybody's having such a visceral reaction to it. Sure. But for me, I already lived through it from the book. Sure. So it's so it's not that bad. It, it's it's not portrayed. It's it's not carried out the exact same way in the book. It's it feels like it's a random act, whereas in the book it's like a target. Deliberate, act. right? And Glenn is the only one right. in the book, right? Um, but yeah, I, like I, I just I felt like I was heartless because I was just like everybody's having such a such a strong emotional reaction. There's to like it. this and breakdown just like, on oh, Facebook. Whatever. I'm like, I was outside looking for the riots. But the reality of it was just like I, I technically lived through it already and and I cried reading the book because sure. he right. meant he meant just as much in the book as he ever did in the show. Right. Which is one of the reasons why that character was portrayed probably just as strong, if not better, than from book the like, carryover from the book to the show. Right. Um Are you crying? Because I see a tear. Oh my there's, god. There's there's so, there's something there. Are you all right? Uh, there's, uh, so there's, he's like just that living that it over and over again. There's a little oh something there. Yeah. yeah. But um, we just uh, what I book. will say though, but no, it's not that, that the Jeffrey Dean Morgan conversation. Like yeah. he's finally raised the needle for himself. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like Agreed. he's definitely done something that will like. Anytime you think of Jeffrey Dean Morgan, you're gonna think about him. And oh yeah. Doesn't matter how good he is for the rest of the season. He has really set the tone, not just for his character, but the whole show. I uh, I I, I will have to agree with you on that for sure. Uh, I will say I'm still disappointed that they keep finding moments where it looks like Daryl's gonna die and they don't. Yes, yeah, I know, right? I mean, yeah. you can't. Die. That show will get canceled if Daryl dies. But here's, but that, <laughs> Are you insane? It's the same point I always make. It's no, the same point I always make. Canceled, he'll appear in the comics. It's don't the worry. same point I always make. About the show, the more you keep raising the stakes and your marquee marketed characters keep surviving, eventually you have that false sense of security. Like, well, he's never going to die, obviously, mm-hmm. and that's bad for storytelling. I agree. Well, it's bad for storytelling. I don't know how much more time we have, but I just want to say that if we walk it a little bit forward in the comics, where Negan and Rick are right now, 
Negan is like there. I mean, you can't beat Negan. He's basically the new main bad. I hate to spoil the rest of season seven, but if they're staying pretty badass. true to yeah, he, if they're staying that true to the comics, then he's here to stay. That's what I will say. Yeah, if you're mad at Negan now, wait right. till the rest of the show. Wait until if it follows the book at all. Wait to find out what happens when Rick finally beats Negan. Then you'll be really mad. Right. And I'm not going to spoil that, but sure. you're going to be really mad when he finally does find a way to beat Negan. Well, Another thing, those of you that hated Carl back in the day, you guys are going to love him coming yeah. up. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I'm excited for Ezekiel. I, I, I have to tell you something. Yeah, that I am, uh, because we only got a few minutes left. So that's my favorite. Uh, we don't have time to get into it, but I will say this. So let's bring it up. Well, no, no, <laughs> I, no, no I, I have time to get into it, but I don't have time for everybody to... I don't want to say attack me, but um, oh, here we go. The first, the first episode of season, the first episode of, of The Walking Dead was the first time I ever thought that I could walk away from the show. Um, a lot and, of people are saying and that, it wasn't, and it's totally and it was, No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Watch the rest. This can, let seven. me, let me, let me give you the reasons why. Um, knowing the book the way I do, I'm not as I, I've only read. You know, a few issues. I know some of the. I know some of the the things with Glenn and Negan. I know some of that stuff. My biggest problem with that was is that instead of leaving me – instead of leaving us somewhere not, – not necessarily a good place, but leaving the audience numb to what had happened, I felt that – I felt that the uh, – unbelievably, I felt that the deaths were so brutal – that they were all, they were they were in bad taste. Um, what I did I see, compared no. to the rest of the show? No, 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 no. no. But I'm what kidding. I'm saying is, is that it's concentrated on. Uh, listen, zombie kills is one thing, but when we're dealing with people, and we're dealing with what Negan did, we get that he's a bad guy. I mean, if you read the comic, but like, he's not a bad guy. Like a zombie no. infected guy feeding a bunch of guys his zombie infected leg, Let, let's, yeah. and let's, laughing about let's, it. Let's let's bring it full circle. Think about it from Negan's point of view. These people went into one of his compounds, stabbed all of them in the ear, killed in all of sleep. his people in I, their sleep. I completely no, no, in no. their sleep. I, you that know, wasn't no. over. real. Guys weren't that noble I com- either. I completely agree with you. But what I'm saying not to is, defend is that, Negan, but in his case, he's looking at us like these right. guys are my guys. I, you went in and killed get, them in their sleep. They I weren't get even that able to part. defend themselves. But what I'm saying is, is that I think it would have gone farther for a viewer like myself. And like I said, I may be in the minority, but I felt that that the deaths were so brutal. It needed to be that brutal. No, no, and that's fine, but we didn't have to see it. We oh yeah, you got to see, see the whole no, twitching Glenn on the ground. Yes, you need you do. to. No, we yeah. don't. The, I thought that. I thought the thing with the, with with Glenn's eye popping out was gratuitous and was unnecessary. I thought that that was completely You're definitely not a reader of the comics. Are you? No, no, no. What or I'm a saying fan is, though, of zombie no, films. When yeah, you when you look that's at the things you watch for. No, when you look at things in panel by panel in a comic, that's one thing. And I and I get that. You are you you don't you like, need Where's the line with gore? I mean, I thought that I, was the point of the genre. I, I no no no. You're you're misunderstanding me though. There's a point at which there's a point at which where things where things become in bad when Well, no. Well, let me let me let me let me stop you right there. When you saw Glenn for the first time after he got struck struck in the head, when you saw what he looked like, right. how did you feel about it? Uh, I felt numb to it because of already what happened to Abraham. I but, f- but you didn't have as graphic of a of a look of a it. visual of Abraham. He just but, took the shot to the head, and then next time you saw it, just and then saw. the next thing in you Glenn's s- case, you couldn't tell he was all there. If not, yeah, in yeah. Glenn's case, right. it was it was, a, it was, it was a different like story. Off, and you know. I would say, and I would defend this: it it's gore, but it's not unnecessary gore because it's 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 getting an emotional reaction out of you because you're like, oh my god. Right, but it's and then not you see like, how oh, it's horrible, it's gross. It's like, oh, how my God, Callis he's not coming back Negan from Negan reacts to it. But, t- but the, by the time yeah, you see... but It's but, actually a story and emotional Abraham, connection. Abraham has already been beaten to a pulp, okay? Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, that was that. rough, okay? But when I get to see it happen again to Glenn, knowing that... I, I, this is a guy that already knew it was going to happen to him. Okay, I knew that was going to happen to him, but even then, I felt like that was just uh, that. I felt like it was a bit over the line as far as what, as far as the brutality that was being shown on television, and I felt very, very not uncomfortable with it, but I felt I, I was very put off by it. That's good. And I and but it's and, good though. No, no, but you see, the one thing that was effective was was Negan. Jeffrey Dean Morgan was extremely effective because you hate him within the first forty five minutes of he that show. He chews up scenery. He does. Too. He's fantastic. Every not, second I, he's on screen. I am he's not it up. discounting his performance. I am saying is that you left number one, you you gambled with 
with Glenn in season six and you gambled with Glenn uh, faking his death. Um, which I still resent. Okay, which I still I, resent. That, that was I thought that that was. A, I think they were just getting the fans used to it. Yeah, yeah. and then, and that was they wanted I, to see how the fans would react. Yeah, and that to was it. wrong. I thought that was completely wrong. <laughs> I, I, I agree with that. I, I think you guys got to calm down. It he rolled underneath the, the RV. So <laughs> yeah, good. It. it wasn't even an RV. It was a it was a dumpster. <laughs> That's right. No, 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 no. Right. The, on this last episode, the, his eye didn't pop out. He rolled underneath the RV. He's still fine. He's good. He's alright. He'll be there next episode. Anyway, listen. We'll talk about this more later. We got to get out of here. It's almost. It's about that time for us to wrap up for a Kaku and YouTube. No. We didn't even get a chance to talk about the video games that are coming out and the new Nintendo Switch, which we'll talk about later as well. Games you're not going to even get to play till next year. Next year. <laughs> um, but uh, listen, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the nerd watch. Nintendo, if you want to send me a Nintendo Switch, <laughs> That's I'll play right, it. we'll play it. Um, also, you can uh, follow us on, or no, no, please visit us uh, for more information about the Maui Comic Con at MauiComicCon.com. Make sure to visit Maui Comics and Collectibles for all your comic book needs. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Twitter at, Na- at Nerdwatch Nation. Follow us on Instagram at the underscore Nerdwatch. And join us for the premiere of Doctor Strange happening November 3rd Physician at Maui unusual. Mall <laughs> Megaplex. Uh, happening Benjamin November 3rd. Benjamin Cabbage Patch will be yeah, there. It's going to be a lot of fun. The Nerdwatch prizes to give away. Confirm. That's right. <laughs> so listen, for again. His check clear. For Alika, <laughs> for Format, and for Swan for filling in for Todd. We certainly do appreciate it. Uh, I, of course, am G Money. Big shout out to, of course, the Sage for joining us and to Kai behind the scenes as well, having some Facebook live trolls. But that's okay. We'll work out the case. Thanks. Until next week, boys and girls, uh, peace out, much love, and most assuredly, always stay nerdy. And until next time, we say to you guys, Aloha! Aloha. Foo-snickin'! <laughs> <laughs>